Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Jacob. Uh, I run the business Hype Meets Heat, as you can see. Uh, I run the YouTube channel, which I have posted a couple videos. And I also run the Instagram page. Uh, I have Grailed, eBay, all that, but uh, I run the Instagram page mainly. And uh, we've been running this YouTube for about two years now, but it just started posting again recently. Um, Today, in this video, we have another beater box. Uh, unfortunately, it's not from Soul Supremacy because due to all the recent events, uh, everything that is happening in this world, uh, they have had to remain closed, which means no one, even, be even members now, uh, are able to get beater boxes. So I had to resort to another source. So today, the beater box we have uh, comes to us from Sir Castle Tees, which is a shop that is located in North Carolina, I believe. Uh, and I haven't heard much about them besides uh, another beta box member getting a couple boxes from them. So I believe the, the other members got $1,000 boxes. Uh, so I just decided to follow the, follow the trend. So this box cost me $1,000 plus $35 to ship plus $30 for, or for fees on PayPal. So the total cost comes out to $1,065. The other boxes that uh, the other member that I know had gotten had a lot of dead stock shoes, which is great. Dead stock shoes are always easy to move, um, but it also had great value. So I decided why not? I need some content and I need some inventory. So let's just go for it. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this box. $1,065. One thing I noticed, uh, unfortunately, was the box was almost falling apart when I got it. Uh, I actually, the UPS guy handed it to me and when I felt the bottom, the bottom felt like it was about to fall out, which is not good. Luckily it didn't, but that could have been bad. It's all going to be zoomed ahead anyway. Are you going to want to say anything about the wind? The what? The wind. Uh, I'll just put it down. If uh... Alright. Box is now open. Uh, first impressions. We have a couple Jordan boxes. And no loose pairs. Which is always a good sign. Uh, even if it's a replacement box, it's always better than having no box at all. Uh, so we'll pull out the first first box here. We have a size 9 NMD. Size 9 NMD. Uh, we got the Sir Castle Tees uh, sticker. And yeah, it's exactly what was uh, on the tag. We have some NMDs. I don't remember what the name of these is. Uh, but they're not bad. They uh, they have the, the boost, obviously, uh, but they are used. Size nine. Nothing else much to say about these. I and mean, this is just this is just your basic pair of uh, boost NMDs. Uh, this says NMD CS2 PK. So I don't know what any of those mean, but. Uh, yeah, nothing, can't complain, uh, but the boost market, especially with these, not if it's not an ultra boost, it's a uh, boost market has been dead, so can't imagine that I'll get more than a hundred bucks, but you never know. I tend to be wrong. Uh, so next out, we have a Jordan box. We have a size nine Air Jordan 14 retro. Oh, all right. And this is actually a pretty nice pair. This isn't uh, for a Jordan 14. This is a nice pair, but show the box. Uh, I guess I can show you the box. There you go. I didn't in, know. in case you guys don't believe me. Uh, but we have a pair of the last shot uh, Jordan 14s. These are a very nice pair. Um, along with many other Jordans actually, they, uh, the value of these shot up uh, after the last dance Jordan documentary. 
Um, I mean, I mean, these these are a classic colorway for sure. Uh, but for a Jordan 14, the price uh, the price doesn't usually go too high. So very surprisingly, the price is. I mean, it's at least uh, I would say 250 bucks. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see. Actually, I should have checked to see if they're new or not. These. I don't know if 14s come with tags. All right, there's a little dirt on the bottom, but I would say these are maybe worn once. Um, they had them. They had them at. I don't know. The price is actually. They had the price taped. And. Uh, <laughs> but. Yeah, size 9. That's a good add to the counter. For a thousand dollar box, but uh, 14s aren't incredibly easy to move. It's just the the model isn't a popular one. Uh, actually, we'll take out this Nike box next. This Nike box is completely, completely trashed. Uh, I didn't even show you the right side, but just to show you the damage that's on it. Uh, so we have an Air Max 90 leather, size nine and a half. All right, we have a pair of the white leather. Air Max 90s, uh, very basic colorway, all white, classic, brand new, which is good. Boxes, I mean, it's half of it is there, half of it is completely gone. But uh, classic colorway. If you like all white shoes, if you like Air Max 90s, uh, these will be for sale. Again, definitely not a money shoe. Uh, it's just a hundred dollar shoe, probably. Uh, but brand new, so that's good. Next up, we have a huge shoe. We have a size 15 uh, Pada 7. So there you go. You see on the top of the box the, uh, the actual shoe itself. So let's see. Size 15. These are, the box is huge. Yeah. These are actually very nice. Uh, they came out with two colorways of these, I believe. And uh, but yeah, these, these are boats. These are enormous. Uh, Jordans are usually bigger anyway. Some shoes, even if they're big sizes, they don't look as big, but these are definitely uh, true to size. Brand new. Uh, yeah, bottoms are clean. Other one is in plastic. Uh, they had these priced at 250. So they'll probably sell them for around two to 225. You know, these shops usually mark up their brand new shoes, which I don't blame them. But you just gotta calculate that into the value. So I'd say two, two twenty-five, but brand new also. So I think so far one, two, two out of the four pairs are brand new, which is great. And then we have two, I would say two money shoes on the bottom. Don't know what this is, but we have a uh, easy, easy three fifty box. We have a size eleven easy boost three fifty V two. Let's see. Nice. All right. We have a pair of the Yeezy. 350 Earths, uh, brand new with tags, so that's good. Uh, these came out not too long ago, and a lot of people slept on them, honestly. What happens, what actually happens frequently, but with these I was surprised, is the price dips right after they uh, drop, and then uh, people start trying to buy them up. Uh, if they see the price rising a little, people start buying them up, so people will try and uh, hit each other up and say, hey, uh, I'm buying all size earths. I'm buying different sizes. So a lot of people are holding these um, I might follow the crowd and hold them too depending on how much money I can make off this box um, That's definitely one of the benefits of uh, being able to profit off these boxes If there's a shoe in any of these boxes that you want to keep for yourself or you want to keep and hold uh, If you're already profiting and making up the value of the box already You can just hold that shoe and it's basically costing you nothing. So let's say I'm able to make $1,300 off this box. Uh, I can hold this the Yeezy and just have it for free because that's the $300 profit that I'll have, roughly. So last shoe out is, I can actually tell exactly what it is from the box as long as it's not a replacement. It's a size 12 Air Force One Low Cactus Jack. And 12 is my size, but I don't like these at all. And yeah. These are actually really nice. We have uh, the Cactus Jack Air Force One Lows. Brand new. One of them is wrapped up in plastic, probably uh, when they were displaying it. Uh, size 12, had them at $600. Let's 
This is probably uh, one of my least, or my least favorite uh, Air Force One that Travis Scott has released. Definitely the most unique one. The other ones are pretty basic uh, cream or sail colorway. Uh, but money shoe, 100%. So no, no complaints there. Brand new, no complaints there either. So that's it for the box. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. We have one, two, three, four pairs are brand new. So four out of the six pairs are brand new. So that should tell you a lot about the value of the box. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this actually. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's kind of hard to go out on a limb and buy a box off of someone. Uh, or even, it's a shop, but still, it's hard to go out on a limb and trust that they're gonna come through just based off of one person that I saw on YouTube. But I'm very happy with this box. You know, you'll see the value on the screen somewhere of what the total value is. But, yeah, somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I don't know about you, what you guys think, but let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'll probably end up buying another box, depending on how much of this I sell, but I'm gonna need some more content, and Soul Supremacy is still closed, so I don't think I'll be able to get any of those beater boxes soon, so let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe as always. Hopefully I'll be back sooner with another beater box. It just depends on when they come in, when they open. So much in the air right now when it comes to uh, society and pandemics and all that stuff. It's really, uh, everything's questionable right now. So make sure everyone stays safe out there, please. And I'll see you guys next time.